Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a drum kit in Cakewalk. First, let's add the SI drum kit to our project. Now at the top of the screen, click on Insert. Click on Soft Synth on the pop-up menu. Click on Drums on the pop-up window. Click on SI Drum Kit. Click on the tick box to the left of the words Synth Property Page on the pop-up window if it isn't already ticked. Then click on OK. You can move the drum kit window by pressing the left mouse button on the white window header and dragging the mouse cursor. Now let's pick a drum kit. You can click on any drum or cymbal to hear it. But let's open a groove pattern to hear the drum kit properly. Here I will use the clean pattern, but you can use another one if you want. So click on the plus icon to the right of the words electronic and pop. Then double click on clean in the list to start playing the pattern. Then click on the stop button to stop the pattern playing. Currently, the drum kit is called Default, as shown here. So let's test out some other kits. Click on Default Prog. Press the left mouse button on the pop-up window white header and drag the pop-up window to the side. You can't currently see all the kits, so move the mouse cursor to the bottom of the pop-up window, so it turns into a double-headed arrow. Press down on the left mouse button and drag the mouse cursor down the screen. A scroll bar now appears at the right side of the pop-up window. Now click on the Drum Pattern Play button, then double click on different drum kits in the pop-up list to hear them. If the pattern stops playing, click on the Loop button, then click on the Play button again. Click on the Stop button when you have found a drum kit you like. Now, let's modify the drum kit. To the right of the word tune are the tune knobs. The picture of a drum or cymbal below the knob shows which drum or cymbal the knob will change. Press the left mouse button on a knob, then drag the mouse cursor down the screen to make the pitch of the drum or cymbal lower.
or drag up the screen to make the pitch higher. Click on the drum or cymbal image to hear the retune. Or click on the play button. You can also click on the play button and tune the drums or cymbals to the beat. The knobs to the right of the word pan change the position of each drum or cymbal in the stereo mix. Press the left mouse button on a knob and drag the mouse cursor down the screen to move the drum or cymbal further to the left in the mix. Or up the screen to move the drum or cymbal further to the right in the mix. Usually, you won't need to change these. To the right of the word vol is a fader for each drum or cymbal. Press the left mouse button on a fader to see the current volume level of the drum or cymbal. Then drag the mouse cursor to the left to reduce the volume. or to the right to increase the volume. At the right side of the window is the master volume, which acts a bit like a mic input level. The higher the volume, the more drum resonance is added to the kit. Press the left mouse button on the volume dial and drag down the screen to reduce the master volume level, or up the screen to increase the master volume level. The reverb dial sets the amount of reverb added to the kit. Press the left mouse button on the reverb dial and drag the mouse cursor down the screen to make the drums sound drier and closer. Or up the screen to make the drum kit sound wetter and further away. The compressed dial sets the amount of compression added to the drum kit. Press the left mouse button on the compressed dial and drag the mouse cursor down the screen to reduce the compression and make the drum kit sound more natural. or drag the mouse cursor up the screen to increase the compression and make the drum kit sound more aggressive.
Now that we have a drum kit, let's save it so we can use it in other projects. Click on the preset options icon. Then click on save preset. Type in a name for your drum kit. Then click on Save. To open our saved drum kit in another song project, click on the preset options icon. Click on Load Preset. Click on your saved drum kit. Then click on Open. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.